Yeah, what I said yesterday, I feel like we're just going to get a new freaking TV commercial every single day until this movie comes out. Let's get into it. All right, so this time around, um, I actually, since I wasn't rushing to do this uh, reaction and breakdown, I'm going to be just watching the subtitled version, which is, of course, brought to you guys by our boy Dragon Ball Super Chronicles or DBS Chronicles. Chronicles is that dude, okay? All right, so let's get right into it. So Piccolo's army infiltration. What's with all strong personalities? Also an even greater shock. This is not good. Whoa, okay, 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 okay. Wait, so I, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta break it down now. Okay, so a couple things here. So now this is now confirmed because this was speculated. Nothing has I don't think there's has been anything out there that has just straight up said that this is what Piccolo is doing, right? All of us fans have basically kind of put two and two together, and we have deducted that Piccolo is going to be infiltrating the Red Ribbon Army, and now it is officially confirmed right here, right in the on the text as you saw, as you see, Piccolo's Red Ribbon Army infiltration. All right. So let me turn the volume off real quick. So let's, uh, I don't, this is off Twitter. So I don't have, I don't, I can't do frame by frame like on YouTube. Um, so here he is. This is a nice, a uh, nice open shot. We see him now we can literally see him going into the base and it looks like he just barely makes it in to line up with the rest of these freaking grunts here. And then we obviously see Dr. Hito and Magenta and I forget the other dude's name, but that guy, <laughs> Okay, so then there's a few. So we get another another shot of Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. What's with all these strong personalities? So um this is my this is maybe where we see exactly uh what's what what you know what they're up to as far as you know what this whole big uh <coughs> so max <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. So he like gets in line really quick. Now, I don't know what this form is called. Um, you know what's weird? His body shape is so funny looking. It kind of reminds me of uh, Beautiful Joe. You guys know about Beautiful Joe? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is like one of the first things I, I, I think of. So yeah, they're all just chilling. Enemies with strong personalities. So uh, I feel like that's just like... I don't even know. I don't know what exactly they're trying to like say or like point out here. I mean, it's just everybody's a character, I guess, in this room right now. Like everyone, you know, is I guess it is what it is. Everyone with strong personalities, everyone has something to them. All right. And so an even greater shock. Now, this is probably where they're going into exactly this room where, you know, who's in this chamber? Who's in this pod? You know, an even greater shock. And this is the part where there's Dr. Hito in the corner over here. Go, Shibata! Yeah, that's 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 this is the part where that happens. Now, ooh, now th I wonder if in this shot does Piccolo actually see what's happening? So this is not good. Ooh, so this is a this is a this this is this is not seen before, where we kind of see the ending part of where it's like kind of like the whole the chamber is like breaking oh yeah look so that's like so if you if you if you look really closely right so this outer ring right here this is like the seal the seal actually breaks right at the end boom right there so you see it flying and here's another shot of piccolo uh flying into action so that's basically the trailer, right? So I'd imagine, right, this look that Piccolo has, I can see in future games being an outfit. Whether it's DLC, whether it's, you know, added content or whatever, in several different games, whether it's Legends or if it's Xenoverse 3, if that ever happens, or if it's, you know, for existing games like uh, Xenoverse 2, maybe. 
the uh, fighters they have not done outfit changes for people they usually just make a whole new character which i don't understand why they don't just do costumes because it's like an arc system works thing they don't don't they don't do outfits they just do colors that's really stupid that they should change that um but that's basically the entirety of this brand new trailer i, I like really lost track of like how many like this is this is apparently part four this is tv spot part four we were so maybe what it what really happened right is i think the interpretation of the fans from what was i guess initially revealed was taken out of context i think they always originally planned on having three trailers but not three tv commercials so once the tv commercial started coming out that's probably where we kind of thought like oh this is these are these are what they're talking about so there's only going to be three of them well that i guess it doesn't apply towards the tv commercials because these tv spots are all 15 seconds and here's the fourth one so i honestly wouldn't be too surprised if we got like a part five six seven because the movie drops very very soon in japan so uh, I, I I can't imagine how much more they could show us because at this rate, and I already plan on doing this, I'm going to compile all of the trailers and just make one video with every single trailer. And I'm pretty sure you should be able to get most of the movie out of even the TV commercial spots along with the actual trailers, even though they do reuse a lot of the same footage, but... They have shown us a lot so i'm looking forward to just watching this film obviously i keep saying this with every video but it has to be said because at this point my the anticipation is kind of going crazy despite me recently saying in a recent video that i did that the promotion for this movie has been really whack and not to i mean not for anything it kind of has been because it feels like they're playing a catch-up and a rush game like they're just Here's the trailer, here's the trailer, here's the trailer, here's another TV spot, another TV spot, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're doing this all this month, basically. So, let's see what happens, and let's see if they actually show us Cell Max at some point, which I, I hope they don't, but you never know with Japan. Let me know your guys' thoughts, like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links will be in the description as always. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked with it right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay the hell inside. I'll see you guys next time.